What's up, everybody? So, today's video request. Will money ever die out? And if so, what will be the new strategy, I guess? Like, the new currency, or what will be the new thing that we're gonna literally worship? So, uh, yeah. Me, personally, I'm gonna tell you this straight out. Money ain't ever gonna die out, unfortunately. It's just not. Think about it for a second, guys. It's been here 50 years ago, 100 years. I mean, it's just it's something that's always exist. And, you know, I mean, the only thing that was sort of good back then, it wasn't so expensive. But still, money was an object, you know, like m money was still a thing. But now it's even more of a thing. So think of it this way. Everything's becoming more and more expensive. So why would you think one day money won't matter anymore unfortunately that's never going to possibly be the case because just showing you right there life itself just keeps getting more and more and more expensive so we're revolving more and more around money we need more money than ever before what used to cost this oh that's not enough money now now you need extreme money now you know but what i definitely see happening is one day being a digital currency where there's no such thing as actual cash anymore, like paper, paper money. Everything's going to be all digital. And then this is where I feel like it gets more meaningless because if that's the case, we could always make up a number that we have this. Like, you know, when you think about it, then it's all just made up numbers. You know, it should all be treated fairly. Like, for example, let's say someone's poor. They should all at least have a certain amount to try to get on their feet. You know, if it became digital. But yet, we'll be so stubborn and fucked up that we won't go that route. We'll still make it nearly impossible for that person to, you know, ever get on his feet or whatever the hell. But yeah, you know, sadly, we ain't ever going to live in a world with no money. Which, it's pathetic. It's stupid. But then in a way, I mean, I can understand reasons why it does exist. Because, you know, if people, like I've said... If money didn't exist, people wouldn't want to work. Nothing would get done. And it's true because then what are we doing this for? What reward are we getting? You know, the whole reason of doing all this is to get some kind of pay so we could do whatever the hell we want to do with it or whatever. You know, what are you really doing mostly with it? Go putting it on bills. But, you know, and then this is like what I said in the past, pre previously in the past. So I've said, um, you know, people... Um, don't work for the sake of humanity themselves. They're just working for their enjoyment. Well, not enjoyment, but they're working for them. Meaning, like, they're getting paid for it, so they're just doing it for that reason. Instead of just doing things for true survival, instead of doing doing what you got to do, but not for pay, but for the sake of helping one another out, including yourself, because, you know, we're all doing it to help each other out, you know. But instead, we're only doing these tasks because... <clears throat> Of the concept of money. You do this. You're going to get this pay. So then what ends up happening. We, we look into doing it. But if that wasn't the case. No one would want to do anything. And I do truly admit. People got to work in some unfortunate way. You know like. like what I'm trying to say is. People got to work unfortunately. Because that's true. If no one works. Nothing will get done. But what's sad is. We're working for something that means absolutely nothing. You know, we're all manipulated into like, this is some kind of God. This is some kind of magic. If you do this, you get this magic reward. Meanwhile, it's just a piece of fucking paper that we just make believe, give a purpose, has has power to the point where literally now it literally has power because we give it power. You know, instead of just doing these things for the sake of humanity, helping one another out, we're doing something on some non-living, useless object piece of paper whatever it all goes back to like doctors you know his person's dying we could get him an operation on whatever you know just whatever he might need that we could save him but due to him not having no type of sheep care <laughs> wealth care because it ain't no fucking health care if they if it's truly health care then that means they care about your health but that ain't the case they don't give two shits about your health they only care about your wealth state your your wealth status and if you got the wealth all right now we're gonna help 
try to save his health. But if you don't have that, oh, no, 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 nothing we can do. Meanwhile, there is something you can fucking do. But due to him not having those, you know, these paper nonsense things, now you, you let the man die or a woman die or whoever. So it's like we act like basically it's impossible to do anything unless we have this money. Right now, I don't have money on me right now to show you. So I'm just pretending I'm, you know, <laughs> but I may look stupid doing that, but sorry. But yeah, you get what I'm trying to say? Like we just, it's like we feel like nothing can get done unless we have money. Oh man, I, I have the tools and everything that could save this man's life, but there's only one thing getting in the way of it. What, Doc? What What seems to be the problem? This man has no insurance. Doesn't have no money to pay. Ah, oh, man, that's a problem. Yeah. And you know me, you know, and not just me, humanity themselves, we favor non-living thing more than a living thing. This guy is a living thing. Do I care about him? Uh, the non-living thing has to come first. <laughs> I mean, can you see what I fucking mean? We literally put a... A living thing aside for something that's non-living that means absolutely nothing. I mean, it really, it's meaningless. It means jack shit. We only give it a meaning because it, we, we, we only, it only, what I'm trying to, what I meant to say, it only has a meaning because we give it a meaning, but really it doesn't have a meaning. That's what I was trying to say. Sorry, I got a little, uh, you know, mixed up there, but. So sadly, I just don't see us ever escaping from money, unfortunately. It's just we're too dumb to ever go that route. It's a, it's I almost I almost could just safely say it's impossible to ever go that route because we're too dumb to ever go that route, you know. It might become all digital one day. But uh as far as it not you know meaning anything anymore or dying off, that unfortunately it's false. It ain't going to happen. Do I wish I was wrong? Of course, but it's just common sense. Unfortunately, I'm not wrong. It's just common sense. It's a proven fact that this bullshit will always be some kind of, you know, this shit will always matter, unfortunately. And it's very disturbing how we literally care for something that's not a living thing, has no feelings, emotions, or love or nothing. You know, we it's just sickening to know that we care for something like that instead of caring for something that is a true living thing, whether it's a human being, an animal, whatever the hell, you know, but hey, humans for you that's humans a lot of people saying too with universal basic income being a thing now me personally i don't know if that will ever be a thing and if it were to be a thing would i think it'd be a good idea uh truthfully i mean i don't know for sure you know I mean, I would like it, but then what end up happening is, let's say if that was all a thing, that would stop people from wanting to work. And don't get me wrong, I'm against working. But unfortunately, if, like I said, if no one works, nothing can get done in this life. Food, how how would food be grown? Or, you know, like like just anything. How would roads get completed? I mean, well, they don't get completed where, completed where I'm at. You know what I mean? I feel like we have to still work no matter what, but I feel like we shouldn't be working for money. We should be working for the sake of ourselves. Trying to that's true survival. We're doing this for the sake of each other. But instead, we're really just doing it because we're manipulated into making money. So that's why I took this job, because I wanna make money, man. It's all it's all it's all about. It's all we care about. Everything's impossible to do unless we have that rectangular, green, dirty, filthy piece of fucking paper. You know, nothing else matters but that. An actual living thing doesn't matter. This verse has to get in the way of it. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's just... It's disgusting if you ask me, but that's just my opinion. But I could definitely tell you this. I'm all for universal basic income because it would be nice for everyone to at least get some kind of a check every month so they could, you know, sort of have some money to do at least... Even if it's basic things like food and shit like that, affording to go food shop, you know, whatever, whatever it might be useful for. But, you know, life could never go that easy route. Andrew Yang was supposedly going to make that offer, but he didn't win. And even if he did win, like I always say, he can't be in, in you know, he can't be in an office forever. Eight years max. So if he, let's say, wins four years, and in another four years, that's eight years. Once that comes to an end and then another idiot runs, 
you know, another candidate runs, then then what happens? That whole plan and that whole thing that he did could go totally all upside down. So it's like, you know, well, a waste of time. I mean, it's good that temporarily for an eight-year range, but then after that, and back to hell. <laughs> but one thing that, in my opinion, I mean, it's probably a fact, but I'm going to just say in my opinion anyway, that we should be striving is automation. You know, and what I mean by that is, <clears throat> excuse me, we should be having artificial intelligence, robots, whatever the hell you want to call them, making our lives easier, doing all the hard work for us. If anything, they should be making us the money, if anything. Or well, that's when I should feel money shouldn't even matter anymore. But if it does matter, then they should be making us the money, making us the money, or at least making us our lives a little bit easier. You know? After all, we're like the robots working our asses off when we could actually put actual robots to use. You know, you know, we got the technology, you would think life would get easier, but instead it's just getting more and more complicated. It's getting more stressful, more, more unbearable. It's just what you least expect when, you know, it just makes no sense. You would think with technology, everything would be a little bit more easier. You know, like back then, technology wasn't a thing really at all. So we had to do pretty much all you can think about. Now we have technology that could do a lot of things. And it's like, I don't know, man. We don't put it to the right use. I mean, it's crazy when you just think about life. Like, all right, me currently, I'm 25 years old. Almost 26. Halfway through, unfortunately. Well, maybe it's a good thing because it's another year closer to death. But, but uh, you know, right now, currently 25 speaking. Just to know 25 years ago, I wasn't here. And yet life was still pretty much the way it is now i mean a lot cheaper not even close to being to the price it is today but still that old outdated corrupt system shit still existed you still had to go to school you still had to possibly go to college or get a job now you actually got to do it even more so the thing i'm trying to say is it was always a fucking thing and now it's even more of a fucking thing so now that's just showing you right there that's a proven fact that money won't ever disappear. If anything, it's just going to become worse and worse. It's going to be more and more expensive. Another 25 years from now, God only knows what it'll be. It'll be triple of what it is now. Triplation. Trip, tripleflation, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, like the only thing I see changing with money in the future is going to be all digital currency. It's going to be no more... No more paper, cash, or whatever the hell. Everything's going to be all digital, which is stupid. Because literally, it just even shows how more made up it is. You know what I mean? Like, when you think about, like, like we, they could just put whatever number they want. Like, you know, instead of giving everyone a fair fair bank account that has a certain amount so people could do what they got to do, like, food-wise, things that we we have to do, you know. But instead, they don't do it that way. Um, it's just it's just like it's it's like a stupid game it's like a stupid game that you don't even want to participate in but yet you have no choice you're here and now what do you do you know it's like a video game when you have like fake money in there you know like gta or whatever you have this amount of money that you could buy this lamborghini or you know the cars that they used to have i forgot the names of you know i haven't played in a while but that's literally what it's going to feel like when they actually change it all to just digital currency it's gonna feel all just some it's gonna even feel more fictional like it's like it's gonna feel more of an illusion than it already does like it already feels like an illusion but it's just gonna be a whole nother level of an illusion when it's digital because literally they could just make up the numbers to whatever they want it to be oh you're broke I meanwhile they can give everyone a fair deal of having a decent amount in and you know in, in your account or whatever the hell but you know, they want to make everything hard on us. They want to make us suffer and shit. You know, crazy, crazy. So, yeah, it's just going to get worse and worse, unfortunately. Um, unfortunately, it's not going to get any better. Money ain't ever going to disappear. The paper wise of money will probably disappear, but it's all just going to be a stupid digital number. Unfortunately. So really, money itself, eh. You just can't get rid of this fucking rectangular bullshit. You just can't. 
It's going to be digital rectangular. <laughs> and truthfully, man, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but me personally, I'm just, honestly, I'm just, I don't, I'm, I'm scared of going decades and decades here because I just don't know how much more and more unbearable it's going to get. You know, I just see how unbearable life is now. And then I could just imagine another 10 years from now, then another 10, you know, another decade, a dec. you know, it's just, it's like how, how, like I already see life, what it is now, like how crazy everything is, how people are going nuts, which can you blame people from the way the, the, the economy is? I mean, you know, the way inflation is makes people go crazy, you know, and it's just knowing it's going to get worse down the line. Like it's just, you know, I'm so young and I got to fucking deal God knows how many more years here. You know, like if I was at least 80, 80 or heck, even 70 something years old, at least I could say maybe I'll just have one more decade to go, you know, maybe two. Well, actually, maybe just one, one and a half. <laughs> but and then I'm fucking gone. You know? you know, there's a lot of people that say to me, man, I feel bad for that kid. He's only five years old or four years old and he's got to go, you know. And then there was another guy I once. Well, no, actually, same person that said to me. Thank God I'll be dead within the next decade or two. You know, he, in other words, you don't have to worry for whatever more hell it becomes now. Then, I mean, then now. You know, and it's not me saying I hate life in general. It's just, it's humanity of what we did. It's like we just made a huge, huge error to this place, man. We literally destroyed the world. Life was way, way better when we didn't exist. Animals had more freedom. Animals had more land to run around. We just take that all away. We're just friggin' bullies. We're just friggin' we just we we humans can't leave well left alone. We gotta disrupt everything. We gotta yeah, we you know, we gotta disrupt it all. Nice beautiful land. Oh, let's build things there so we make profits off it. Money. So let's build. Destroy the land of the animals, you know. Now they have nowhere to go. Who cares, though? We're making money out of it. Who cares? But it's just the animals. Who cares? That's our attitude, you know? Very sickening, sickening, cruel. So right there, it's like another Easter egg clue that money ain't ever going away, man. I mean, it's just common sense. It's really not even any sense. It's just common fucking sense. We literally live in a world where we won't help someone unless they have the funds. So what does that tell you right there? We literally care more for that shit than an actual living thing person dog cat whatever anyway i could keep going on and on so i'm probably gonna just stop here guys anyway love you all man i always say that at the end of the video and i'm always gonna keep saying that because i mean it i mean it man you guys watching these videos i truly appreciate and can't thank you all enough you know i really i really appreciate it man anyway i'm gonna call it a night there and yeah peace out <laughs>